That's as likely. <clears throat> you know, that's I, I love hearing you talk about New Orleans. I'm married into a Cajun family. My soon-to-be mm-hmm. ex-father-in-law is from St. Martinsville. Now, why are you getting divorced? What's the problem? Uh, well, it could be infidelity on her part, you know, a little. Real, now, wait a minute now. What did you do to cause her to turn to another? <laughs> well, anyway. I mean, well, that's true. Oh, hold on a minute. That's what a good did you question. Do to, yeah. I mean, it's, you know, there's two sides to every story. I mean, oh, that's true. Uh, a lovely that's... woman, a lovely woman that you marry. You have children with her? Yes. Well, um, I'm sure, you know, this is not, uh, I'm sure she's not some, some whore or some horrible person no, that you married. And you know what? Well, then what, what, did you, what did you do to, to make her turn to another? We, we have the best relationship now. You know, we're not, really? we're not meant to be together. You know, we're good friends. We're really mm-hmm. good as friends. But I don't know. Did, did you meet somebody night. else? No. 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 Lord, no. I, I met a truck. I'm a truck driver. I now. Am, do you know? Do you know the guy? Was he friends with you? Uh, no, he actually worked with her, and um, <clears throat> where she worked, and uh, he tried to blackmail her. He videotaped an encounter. What? Oh my yeah. god! I found out about it. I threatened him, and she got a. Now wait a minute. So you had to go to your 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 unfaithful wife's aid. Yes. Yes. I'm that a real is man. wild. Now, they're not together anymore, are they? No. No, no thank no. God. She had him arrested. So what was he going to get out of her? What was he going to get out of her if he blackmailed her? Control. Control. I, I think he was a, a real sociopath. I yeah. think he just wanted a... Well, he must have been... You know what? He was great in the sack. I don't know. I don't know. It didn't get that far. It was oh, a blowjob. Oh, come on. Job. It was a blowjob. Now, now your wife had to confess um, this to you. Yes, she lied about oh my it God. forever. Yeah. Well. Well, you lie about certain. What things. did you? What well, you went um, Christina? What was um? Just a blowjob. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> but she <laughs> lied about everything else for a long time. It seems. I would have picked anything well, else but a blowjob. You know what? Something else. We we lie to ourselves the most. So you yeah. know, yeah. Yeah. There's a man that's been to therapy. I've lied so to now, um, yeah. is she moving back to Louisiana and you're staying in New York City? No. No. Uh, well, we're from Memphis. Okay. Hmm. I am actually the cucumber guy. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. And she's cheating on you? I can't imagine. What is, what is, what is, what is, what is the cucumber? <laughs> I, what does that mean? That, you don't, he doesn't need to explain that, Jay, okay? He's okay. the cucumber guy, and that's, no, plenty. Really? that's all the information <laughs> I need to know. Garrett, what does that mean? Thanksgiving. He's like, yeah. a cucumber. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what? I forget the show as soon as it's over. Remind yeah, me what, what the I'm cucumber sure. is. I'm sure. Mm-hmm. I don't you, know. stuff, you stuffed a, a cucumber and a turkey? No. I. You, you said most truckers have a dick that looks like a uh, sweet potato. <laughs> I called in and said, no, mine's more like a cucumber. Oh, Okay. <laughs> See, well, I that remember a, that phone call. It was a moment <laughs> in time. Well, Mike, you know, good luck to you. And uh, how old are the how old are the children uh, of this broken home that are going to be, of course, Daddy's enjoy there. your, like your new cucumber. life because things are about to turn around for you. Yeah, drive Bullshit. that truck yeah. up here. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you read some more Chopra uh, to him, uh, Mike? Uh, how, how how old are the children? How old are the kids? Fourteen and nine. Okay. Oh, they're going to be completely fucked up. No, no, no. no. He's doing the right thing so that they don't get completely fucked up. No, now, what about Christmas? Where yeah, are they going to the spend expert. Christmas? Actually, I'm going home for Christmas, and we're going to all spend it together. With the wife? Wow, that's wonderful. Yeah. 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 Actually, I talked to my wife, my ex-wife, this morning, and I'm going to bring Kate down on Christmas morning, and we're all hey, going to have Christmas hey Mike, uh, together. Hey, Mike, this, this is what you need to do. Nice? So you're there yeah. with the wife, and she's at the table, and bring you're your all girlfriend. pals, and you're breaking up. And so your wife tastes something. She goes, wow, this, this has an unusual taste. And you go like this. It tastes anything like a dick? <laughs> Just do that. And that's what I would do. Yeah. She got upset that I went to her aid, that I cussed this guy out and threatened him. That was the whole part. You know, look, I'm a man. I'm going to step up. You mm-hmm. are a man. Yeah. She a said she could handle dick. it. She said she could handle it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. So, okay. Whatever. Well, I've told the story a million times. I, I, I go to lunch one day with a guy and with this guy and, and he's divorced and he's very upset. He's getting divorced and his wife is taken up with another guy 
And um, it was kind of an uncomfortable lunch. I didn't Terrible. know the guy that well. Yeah. And so, okay, okay, you know, you, you know, been there and breaking up. And he's very upset. So about a, uh, a year or so passes, and I happened to see the guy I had lunch with. The, the, I happened to see the breakup guy. I wasn't that friendly with him. I see him in New York, and I go, hey, uh, we had we had lunch um, about a, you know, a year and a half ago with somebody. He goes, oh, wow, yeah, great to see you. And I go, you know, and remember that lunch, and you were in the midst of breaking up with your wife, and oh, how are things going? He goes, oh, we're back together again. Oh. I go, really? He goes, yes, you know, apparently whatever I did to to drive her away to another man, she forgave me for. That's what he said to me. Now, I don't know the guy well enough to go, what are you, fucking idiot? That's yeah. what he said to me. I'll never forget it as long as I live. Whatever I did to drive her away to another man, she forgave me for it. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? I I mean, I, I, would, I would take her back just to torture her. <laughs> I would pretend I was in love with her again, Kevin. Mm -hmm. I would go through the therapy. I would do it all. I would have another ceremony. I would get back together again. We'd get in the house. And about a week into us being together, I would start up with the fucking mental breakdown attacks. Passive aggressive? You betcha. Nice. Yeah, well, you know, um, your back hurts? Well, maybe it's from fucking that other guy all the time before he came back to me. Um, mm -hmm. Hey. Is that macaroni and cheese? What's the matter? I'm sorry. Did I say something? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, you know, y'all fucked, so maybe your back hurts from fucking him. I don't know. I'm not angry. I'm not angry. You know. <laughs> hey, that guy reminds me of somebody. That, that is an, either an actor or the guy you used to fuck. <laughs> yeah. And you're going to hear. That's incredible. Um. Can I say one and then, thing? And then you get after you come in or you get off go out and go like this go. He really stretched that thing out. Maybe we need some surgery. Ugh. Now, I'm gonna tell you something. That's the movie I would write. Because that's what I think people deserve when they <clears throat> injure you by blowing somebody at work or telling you that you did something and ran them into somebody else's arms. Uh E Man uh, from Newport News says the uh, bitch you did after the truck driver called about his cheating wife should be a rerun for sure. You actually laid out a way that you would get her back and then torture her mentally for the rest of her life. I spit, I spit water that I was drinking all over the dashboard. Uh, the way you laid that out. Well, thank you. It was very brilliant. Much. You know. Yes, I'm just. You know, happy that I could. And that's know, help what you, you should do in your live show. You know, you need a desk to sit out there and tell.